Hey and welcome to the Virgos. My name is Aliyah and today we will be revamping, redoing, restarting my sticker book. So this is my sticker book over here. I get a lot of questions on it, where it's from, how I set it up, how I organize it, both here and on Instagram. So I figured I need to make changes in there. Might as well do it with you guys. I would say everything's going fine until I got into cloth and paper stickers. So the dilemma is my sticker book, which is from Poi and Hun, only fits three types of pages. So there's the two pocket, the four pocket, and this one, which is just like a full on side loading pocket, right? Now, as you can see, I have been keeping my cloth and paper stickers in the big ones, but the problem is when I pick it up, they're sliding out, it's a mess. So I figured, you know what? Let's just redo this, re-get this together. I also got bigger rings from cloth and paper in black. So I'm gonna go ahead and take everything out and reorganize it and then we'll just basically start over. I'm not 100% sure on how I wanna organize things yet, but I'm gonna start off with putting like, like. Okay, so minus the cover, what you guys do ask me about, I just found this image on Pinterest and then I went on Canva and I added the word stickers, my birthday, and a little quote that I made. But yeah, it was just a Pinterest image that I ended up writing on. But it's like everything out. So I have the OG sticker book from Point Home. And it came with rings, but they were a bit small for me. And now I feel like I might have outgrown those as well. So I got some black 1.5 inch rings from Cloth and Paper. Put those in. Okay, so here's a size comparison on the discs. Definitely a significant size upgrade. And I don't think I'll be needing new discs anytime soon. So let me just put the cover back in. Yeah, I'm gonna like that a lot more. All right. This looks a mess, I know. <laughs> um there's a method to my madness i promise so i had the inserts from Koi and Han, but what i didn't have before were these tabs so i'm going to organize my stickers by tab yeah she's so organized like what i don't know specifically what each tab will be yet but this tab set came with one two three four five tabs and I'm gonna have to make that work. So let's put the tabs in. So the blank pages to put the stickers in as well as the tabs and the cover is all from Play and Hun. And it is in their OG sticker book size. I like these tabs a lot though. They are very nice, hard plastic, frosted. I don't know if I'll label them yet. I have a label maker if need be, but I don't know. Okay, tabs are in. I think I want to start with dots and drops. So let's do that first. So I have a lot from the planner spot, but I recently got my Your Everyday Planner order. So I actually would like to start with those. This is a freebie they sent me, but I found their stickers to be really, really cute. Not sure what happened with the lighting, so I just made it a little bit brighter. But here's Honey Milk Tea, Luna, and Noir, which are pretty similar to the colors that I was using from the planner spot, which were gray, ecru, and blackish. And the only reason I stopped is because I really wanted like a true black. But aside from that, I really do enjoy the Planner Spots stickers. I have a lot. So I've organized how I want to put them in. So I'm going to start with the petite circles. And I like it with the name or the label facing outwards. Underneath that, I'll do the classic circles. 
And then since you can fit more than one in each of these slots, I'll just put the classic circles on top behind the petite ones and the petite squares behind the classic circles. How cute is that? Popping it right in. Yeah, I love that. So we have all of my dots and drops in more, all of them in Luna, and all of them in Honey Milk Tea. Now I'm just gonna add the ones that I have from the planner spot. Now I'm trying to think what is my next most used. I do use a lot of icons, but I think I wanna put my cloth and paper stuff here. Now, if this works, if this works, I'm really proud of myself. So here was my thought process, right? Walk with me. This sticker book is a little bit wider than HP Mini. So I got some HP Mini covers. These HP Mini covers are from Cloth and Paper. I bought three sets, so six of these, right? Okay, walk with me. Then I went to Cat Spresso Co. and I got these pockets. And I haven't opened them yet, so I don't know if this was just a silly little idea in my pretty little head, but... I think, I think I may have done something. Now the thought process is to stick one here, another one here, and then I can put, okay, you're following. I know you are. I kind of want to line it up to the bottom because I know that their stickers are rather tall and that also gives me a straight edge. Okay, so I've stuck that on, right? When I bought this, did I know it had stars on it? No. Am I happy about that? No, but we are moving on, it's fine. So the thought process was just to, you know? And in my mind, that'll prevent them from... I'm a genius. I'm a genius. <laughs> okay, not really, but you know, I like this better than having them in the giant pocket. I do love how perfectly they fit on the HP mini sized cover i don't have a lot because the avant-garde spotlight stickers come with that pack that has um the green one and ristretto i believe so i don't have a lot okay we got it in and now just to add it here yeah i feel good about that i do so when i close it out because that was my main concern it was all floppy when i closed it and slipping and sliding it's not okay i'm proud of myself i think i just solved like a major problem <laughs> let me get a hold of myself so if you are having trouble storing your cloth and paper stickers maybe you can try this i don't know personally i'm pretty pleased with it pretty pleased with it hey y'all so i figured it would be only right to come in and show you that i kept everything the same but i moved it into this little hp mini cloth and paper situation because i just wasn't feeling how it was looking i tried so hard to have all my stickers in one place but yeah that wasn't the the, the way it looked in the middle you'll see it in the end of the video but it just no it wasn't working for me so yeah so i know the next thing i use the most will definitely be my icon stickers i mean yeah so i'm gonna use the two pocket inserts again for those just gonna try to organize them in a way that makes sense to my brain but yeah okay so partial way through that i decided to separate like my personal icons from my work icons so this section will be work icons and the last section will be words yeah that feels good that feels right all right work section complete now I'm going to do my words. So I don't have a lot. Let's see. I know that those two can go in here. I don't think this one will fit. No, it won't. So I'll put these in here. Cute, cute, cute. And then I'll just get one big pocket for those. Okay, so I fit everything except for these page flags and i know the page flags can fit in the four pocket i do have more page flags that i want to get so i'll leave that space for them but she's done oh my goodness and 
thick really thick because of this portion right here but i am very proud so let's just go through it we have the one and a half inch rings we have the cover i'm still not 100 percent pleased with it because of how it pokes up in the middle but this is what i'm doing for right now i'm content with this for right now so my first section will be my dots and drops we have your everyday planner more your everyday planner um even more <laughs> and then we have the planner spot there's a lot of the planner spot in here then moving on to the next section i have more dots right but i also have time blocking stickers and spotlight stickers so let's just call this the cloth and paper section so we have avant-garde the twisted lines angora ristretto kyoto um frosted and chrome then a bit of platinum and linen back there before we move on to the next section which will be my kind of like everyday icons so there's a lot from the planner spot i got exclamation points little day ones um these are my workout ones i use the yoga for pilates which i'm getting back into and i'm so excited about that but yeah the dumbbell the yoga um my health section i guess so cycle tracking doctor dentist eyes because i do wear glasses and contacts so yeah um then we have these masks which i was using for like self-care but i have a new sticker for that anyway appointments um nails flights lashes flights i use these for date nights cakes for birthdays and i use these for parties then we have some from paper panda these are the payday stickers i have them in the black with the white words and i also have them in white with the black words I have planner spot mini um, dollar signs. I have a little bit of Sticky Monster Co, I believe. Yeah, Sticky Monster Co. So I have these heart likes um, as well as these little sparkles. Then I have some from High Paper Cloud. So I don't love these because they're not transparent, but I thought they were, whatever, probably just wasn't reading. But I have these and these little X's, which I like to put at the bottom of my pages. And I got this for free from your everyday planner. So I have more exclamation points. And then from Paper Panda, I have these happy hour ones. They're so cute. Um, I have Instagram and YouTube. YouTube I got in white on purpose because I was using them on avant-garde page flags. But yeah. Then we move into my work stickers. So in fact i'm a speech pathologist so i use these little icons a lot the speech bubble these are for no school meetings phone calls reports due emails more reports due and field trips then we move into my last section which will be text so i have work um these are the ones that i'm going to be using for my self-care from now on I got these from your everyday planner so they say weekly and then they have routine right there that's so cute and my high paper clouds i got these custom they just say the virgos and i have these honey inked um canceled stickers as well as a few page flags from cloth and paper so that friends is my entire sticker book It's excessive, yes, but I feel like it definitely helps me enjoy my planning a little bit more because I don't do all the different colors and things like that. So I have these, um, especially the icons. The icons make it really fun for me. And yeah, I feel like having the stickers in a book definitely helps to keep me more organized and keeps my spending at bay because now I can see everything. I did not know that I had spotlight stickers in Angora. And I was about to buy some. I don't need any. I have a brand new pack. So having them out definitely helps to limit the spending because you can see what you have, what you're running low on. So once I see that we're on like maybe our last two rows, because it does take the planner shops a little while to get things to you, which is fine. A lot of them are small businesses. So 
one time maybe on my last two or three rows is when I would make another purchase of something I like but that is all for today thank you guys so 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 much for watching and I will catch you in the next one bye